Where are the idolaters? Where are the adulterers? Where are those who left Allah's worship? Where are they? Where are those who did not give from their wealth the rights of the poor? Where are those who consumed haram wealth and haram belongings from other people? Where are those who harmed their brothers and sisters? Where are those who wronged their religion? And its color is black and dark, but its horror images inside of it can easily be seen by its inhabitants. All the different kinds of horror, they pop up in front of a person and torture them. Wallahu Akbar. My dear brothers and sisters, hellfire has valleys, hills, trees, lakes and ponds, rocks mostly, clouds, rain, clothing, food, drink, beds, headgear, shoes. You are able to see each other and meet each other. There are angels in there everywhere. There are scorpions and snakes, monsters and creatures like none before, and all sorts of torturing mechanisms, uncountable torturing mechanisms. However, every part of Jahannam is fire, fire upon fire, its hills, its valleys, everything is fire and torture and pain. And the most horrifying in all of Jahannam are the two, are two things. The angels that are in there to torture the people and the people themselves, their horrific images. They scare everyone else. So how do the people look like in Jahannam therefore? First of all, before I mention that, let me mention briefly about how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes how they will be sent walking to their doom in hellfire. This is on their way to hellfire, brothers and sisters. The day of judgment has ended for them. Or their own judgment has ended. And Allah has sentenced them to hellfire, whether eternally or temporarily. Because as we said, amongst them are Muslims who believed in one God, but they neglected their prayers. They committed the major sins. They neglected the compulsory things. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Al-Zumar, وَسِيقَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا إِلَىٰ جَهَنَّمَ زُمَرًا حَتَّى إِذَا جَاءُوهَا فُتِحَتْ أَبْوَابُهَا وَقَالَ لَهُمْ خَزَنَتُهَا وَقَالَ لَهُمْ خَزَنَتُهَا أَلَمْ يَأْتِكُمْ رُسُلٌ Which means, and the people of hellfire, the disbelievers in Allah, they shall be, they shall be forced to walk in a group after group in lines after lines. Group after group, like slaves, my dear brothers and sisters, chained up like slaves, group after group. Allah says, as soon as they arrive at the doors of hellfire, Futihat, it is opened immediately. This verse is also recited in another way, Futihat, which means it is immediately opened, no waiting. Its doors are immediately opened and its guardians will say, didn't you get messengers to warn you and told you about this day? And they will reply, yes, they did crying. However, the torment of Allah is upon those who disbelieve and reject Him. Allah also says in another verse, وَنَسُوقُ الْمُجْرِمِينَ إِلَىٰ جَهَنَّمَ وِرْدًا And we shall drive along. You know like when you have a stubborn, this is for the farmers, those who have a stubborn donkey or a stubborn mule or a stubborn buffalo, right? And you want to drive it along the way that you want it to go. Allah says, they will drive them like mules in other words. 
wirda, line by line, until they reach Jahannam. In another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, those who receive their book in their left, then they will be transformed in their features, and it will be said, Khudu, take him, Fagullu. In the hadith, it says, as soon as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Khudu, take him, 70,000 angels race each other to see who will be the one, amongst these angels, who will be the one to grab the chains and wrap them around this person, putting a steel ring around his neck with a chain that connects to his wrists and also to his legs and with a huge steel ball they will have to carry and immerse their claws into his forehead and into his legs and throw them into hellfire. They race each other to see that, to do that. فَغُلُّوهُ Allah says, dip him in and dip him deep. ثُمَّ الْجَحِيمَ صَلُّوهُ Then inside of hellfire, imprison him. ثُمَّ فِي سِلْسِلَةٍ ذَرْعُهَا سَبْعُونَ ذِرَاعًا فَاسْلُكُوهُ Then bring a 70 meter chain and let him wear it and it wear him. The scholars, Mufassirun, thought, what does this mean? It wear him and he wear it? The way that they said was that the chain is so huge it is entered through their anus and taken out through their nostril. So it is, and then it is wrapped around their necks and their bodies. Therefore, it is inside of them and outside of them. They are in the chain and they are also outside of the chain. If one ring of that chain were to be dropped on earth, it will burn everything in sight. Because soon I will describe to you how huge the inhabitants of hellfire are. Allah says in the Quran, إِنَّ جَهَنَّمَ كَانَتْ مِرْصَادًا لِلطَّاغِينَ مَآبًا لَابِثِينَ فِيهَا أَحْقَابًا Verily, Jahannam is awaiting and prepared for those who sin and disobey. In this verse, Allah is not talking about the disbelievers. It is as if He is talking about the believers who have neglected Allah's signs and neglected His compulsory acts and took them as an unimportant thing. لِلطَّاغِينَ مَآبَ A place of residence or a place of return for them. Which means they shall stay therein, ahqaba. And I'll go back to come back to this one. They will neither taste any cold or comfort, nor will they taste any drink to quench their thirst. The only thing they will taste is hamim and ghassaq. A result of their actual actions in life. What does ahqaba mean? They will stay in the ahqaba. Ahqab is a plural for hukub. That's a unit. And hukub to the Arabs is known as this long. It is known as one hukub is as long as 80 years. Each day in that year, each day of those years is equal to 1,000 years of ours. 
So 1,000 years times 360 days times 80 years would equal one shukum, which is equal to 28,800,000 years.